Hello everyone, my name is Jesus Quesadilla, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Uh, we are here today inside the inner sanctum of the Brotherhood of Steel here in Hidden Valley. And if you remember the last episode, we went through a large ordeal to get a hold of the Pulse Gun so that we can show this to the Elder of the Brotherhood of Steel. So thanks for joining me once again, why don't we just go ahead and jump right into the action and get things underway. And uh, that's kind of weird, it won't let me talk to him. Oh, you know what? It might have to be that uh, Veronica needs to initiate the dialogue. Yep, that's what it is. We found a gun that disables power on her. One of these could defeat the whole Brotherhood. We have to stop limiting our focus to military technology. It won't save us. That could be the only one of its kind. That's not the point. Technology won't win our wars. Yeah. We need numbers, new recruits. What does the Codex say? The Codex of Infinite Wisdom? We do not help them or let them in. But we keep knowledge they must never have. Give it a chance for me. I can't stay here and watch us waste away. I'm sorry. We'll I don't out. get why this guy's so resilient to this. I know. Come on. I can't listen to this anymore. Yeah, I'm with you on that. That that's just ridiculous. I can't believe even having shown him that that he's still so reluctant to let new recruits join. It's like, come on, dude. You're dead either way. You might as well try something. But uh, we're going to go ahead and leave here, and Veronica is going to strike up another chat with us. I think he wouldn't listen. The truth was right there, staring him in the face. How could he not listen? That's not your fault. There was never any chance. His mind was made up from the start, so don't blame yourself. I see that now. I thought I knew him better than that, but it was like talking to a stranger. How can I help them when they won't accept it? They don't want to see the light. So, uh, where does that leave you? I. I don't know if I can stay. Maybe it'd be better for everyone if I left. Spent my life... somewhere else. Work with the followers of the Apocalypse, maybe. Put my knowledge to some good use. Or I can stay here with the people I care about and do... whatever I can. Until it comes to a slow or sudden end. I mean, don't give up all hope. Uh, you know what? You're the only one who can make this decision. I'm not going to make it for not you. Even a hint, huh? Jeez, I really am all alone on this one. <laughs> I guess I'll stay. If I left, there wouldn't be any coming back. It might be something I'd instantly regret. Yeah, maybe. It's going to get harder for the Brotherhood before they get easier. I should support them in whatever way I can. Let's get going. I'd like to get my mind off all this, and some fresh air would do me some good. I yeah. Well, as fresh as the nuclear fallout air really is. But, uh, yeah. So, unfortunately, there's not a lot we can do. Um, if we really wanted to create some actual change in the structure of the Brotherhood of Steel, we would have to kill the Elder. And that's a whole other quest line and a whole other set of events we have to go through. I'm not going to do that, but I guess that's something to keep in mind if you're playing along and you want to try something different. There are other options. This isn't the only way to end things off. But I think that's enough exploration with the Brotherhood. We've kind of seen what they're about. So let's go ahead and get out of here and report back to the Yes Man. I'm going to go ahead and tell him that we're going to ignore the Brotherhood of Steel. And that way we can move on. Because we're actually almost at the end of the game. In fact, I'm thinking this is probably going to be the second to last episode. I'm only going to play up to a certain point and I'm going to cut myself off before I actually get to the last mission of the game. Oh, God! Jesus Christ, what do you want? Uh, hello? You want to talk to me? Just gonna stand there pointing your guns at me. We heard Veronica talking with the elder. We Ooh. Won't stand for this. All right, so yeah, this is a really high speech check. Um, ideals are strengthened by the challenges they endure. Veronica's questioning did you a service? Hmm. She'd be doing a greater service by carrying out her duties and not trying to undermine the elder's authority. You jelly. This would be the last time her loyalty falters. You've been warned. We heard Veronica talking with the elder. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> Um, yeah, I just told you this. She be this had better be the what the heck? Did the game just glitch? That's weird. Okay, I thought I was going to get stuck into an infinite loop there. Um, luckily that's God. not the case. I should get used to this, I guess. People get desperate. They turn on each other. 
first thing to go is trust. Yeah. I don't think it's ever going to be the same for me in there. Knowing no matter what I do, it's going to end badly. But they're all I have. Well, you have me. Are you still going to travel with me? Yeah. I've got the rest of my life to help them out. I could spare a little while. Sweet to level up. With you. All right. Well, let's let's go. Come on, let's get out of here. Good idea. All right, cool. So Veronica has a new perk now, substantially increasing her armor, and I got a level up. Sweet. Uh, let's see. Why don't we go ahead and dump some more points into what could I use? Uh, you know, after getting through that cavern, I'm thinking medicine could use a boost just so that my uh, my stim packs do a little bit more for me. And also, I'm thinking energy weapons would be a good thing to put some points into just to really maximize the effect of the uh, the uh, alien blaster. And I got a couple more points. Uh, you know, three points isn't really a lot. I'll just put those in energy weapon too. And I think we, yeah, we get a new perk. All right, so let's see what my options are. Hmm. Tag. Ooh, that would actually be pretty good. Well, let's see what else we got. Action Boy, Purifier. Hmm. That wouldn't be awful either. These are all actually really good options. There, there are tons of perks I could pick. You know, I still feel obligated to pick Life Giver, even though it's not really the best perk, just because it fits with the whole Jesus thing. I don't know. You know, I don't really need any particular perk. I might just go with Life Giver just for the sake of doing it, because I feel like I said I was going to at one point, so why not? It's the end of the game anyway, it's not really going to matter that much. Um, okay, so Veronica's all solemn and sad now, but hopefully we can cheer her up a bit later. Um, let's go ahead and go back to the Yes Man, though, and report back on the Brotherhood. I think that really what the Yes Man considers to be ideal, and what really would be ideal, would be to blow up the Brotherhood of Steel, because there's a way to, um, initiate a self-destruct sequence inside of their fortress, and basically just take them out entirely. Um, that being said, I'm not gonna do that, I just... I don't feel that it's really necessary to go over the top like that, and they're kind of just minding their own business. They don't really do anything either way. They don't really have a substantial impact on the outcome of the battle up ahead. So I'm just going to leave them to their own business since Veronica's still with me, and she's still technically a member of them, so... Yeah, not going to ruffle her feathers. Boone was all actually getting upset at me about the whole NCR thing, because I've been working against the NCR for a while now, so... I don't need everyone in my party game pissed off at me. At least I'll always have Rex. He's loyal to me no matter what, I'm pretty sure. Which makes sense, I guess. Okay, so let's go up here. And this is going to be the second to last mission, actually. Um, so, how you do, yes man? What's up? What's the good word? Let's talk about some tribes. Um, I know the Brotherhood, and I want them left alone. Oh, you sarcastic asshole. You did a super job wrapping things up, and I'm not just saying that because I have to. Oh, stop it. I decoded a military radio transmission, and it turns out the NCR president, Aaron Kimball, is going to visit Hoover Dam. You don't say. I guess he wants to boost the troops' morale, but according to projections, Mr. Housemaid. He has an 83.75% chance of being assassinated. Oops. <laughs> That's a little more than oops. Anyway, it looks like Mr. House thought it was important to keep President Kimball alive. Really? Huh. Uh, why did Mr. House exactly want to keep Kimball alive? Mr. House ran projections on how the NCR public will react to a defeat at Hoover Dam. Overwhelmingly, they'll blame Kimball. Ah, I see. But if Kimball dies at Hoover Dam, there's no obvious scapegoat for them to blame, so they'll blame New Vegas instead. Mm -hmm. So that means reduced tourism for up to five years. The equations are pretty complicated. Mr. House sure liked numbers. You know, that really doesn't matter to me. Um, I don't care what happens to Kimball, whatever. Fine by me. <laughs> I lost karma too, that's great. To Honestly, why do I give a shit? It's not my job to save the president. Mr. House had two of these made years and years ago. Just like him to think ahead. Yeah. Take the module to the El Dorado substation and attach it to the power control terminal. I'll handle the rest. Okay, cool. Um, okay, I'll go get it done. Great. When this is taken care of, we'll be all set for the Legion to make its move. 
All right, sweet deal. Okay, so... Okay, now I'm mixed with Kaiser's Legion, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do any more quests for them. Yeah, quests failed throughout the... Okay, whatever. I don't care. I wasn't going to work with them anyway. Um, so yeah, you have the option of taking this secondary quest to go save President Kimball. Honestly, I don't really give a shit, <laughs> to tell the truth, because it doesn't really benefit me in any way. Um, like, he makes this case for saving President Kimball supposedly helping tourism later on, but... It's the end of the game, it doesn't matter, so... Whatever. Rather not waste the time with that. Instead, I'm gonna go straight to planting this chip that we need to access some extra power. So let's go ahead and go to, it looks like the closest area is probably this trading post. And, um... This section is gonna be a lot easier if you're still friendly with the NCR. By this point in the game, that might be a little difficult to do. Although I feel like I've had the added benefit of having helped them out a lot in the past, plus having Boone as one well, of my companions. Jointly, those two things probably gave me uh, a little bit more NCR reputation than I was anticipating. So that's good for me, that's gonna make it easier to infiltrate this place, although... I think once you plant the chimp, they instantly become hostile towards you. Now, the way you can get around that is if you happen to have some NCR armor... Or uh, equipment, you can disguise yourself as a member of the NCR and then move about a little bit more freely. Um, I'm not sure if my beret actually counts as NCR gear. It might. But I'm not sure if that's enough to fully disguise me. Anyway, it's not a big deal because we'll be in and out. And uh, once that's all done, we'll be ready to move on into the final mission of the game. Now, since we're taking the independent path to the end of the game... Uh, it's actually going to be us against both the NCR and Kaiser's Legion, although we will have our own form of backup in form of the, uh, the Securitrons. So it's not like we'll be outnumbered or anything. In fact, if anything, we have the numbers advantage and the weapons advantage, so that's pretty good. But, um, yeah, just keep in mind if you do take this path, you are alienating both the NCR as well as Kaiser, so that's kind of big. Which is one of the reasons why I don't have Boone following me around right now, because I get the feeling he'd just get pissed and walk off on me at this point. Especially once we get into the final battle, we will be killing a bunch of NCR guys. So, uh... Actually, I don't know that you have to kill the NCR. You might be able to get them to leave peacefully, but... I anticipate I'm going to be killing some NCR guys, so... I want to spare Boone the horror of watching me kill his brothers. Alright, so... I don't know that I necessarily need to be stealthy here, but maybe I want to. Stay out of the control room and enclosure, or there's gonna be trouble. Got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Alright, so you get that little warning. Basically, we just need to make our way into the control room right over here. Um, this is really the only point of interest. Um, yeah, and if we enter in, that's gonna make them hostile, I'm pretty sure. Well, it might not. Let's see. Um, let me first check... Something real quick, if I have any apparel that would help me out here. Eh, it doesn't really seem like it. Yeah, I'm going to assume that I don't. Uh, are there any back doors? I mean, there's guards everywhere, so it's not really going to matter. I'm just kind of scoping out my options here. Yeah, it looks like the front entrance is the only way. Is it a little too ballsy to just walk right in? Let's find out. Huh. So despite having, like, about a dozen guards outside, there's not a single person actually guarding the inside where the terminal is. Alright, that makes sense. So, uh, let's power the substation. Hopefully they won't realize we've done it. Cool beans. Alright, now we can report back to the yes man Hopefully they won't... Yeah, they're not even attacking us or anything. So that was actually one of the easiest missions in the game. How about that? Uh, it just helps to be on good terms with the NCR, I guess, at this point, because then you don't have any resistance or hassle from them. Okay, well, with that being the case, we can just fast travel back, and actually, as short as that's going to make the episode, that's really the last thing I have to do. I'm pretty sure the next event is going to automatically take us to the battle for Hoover Dam, so... I want to be sure to end off the video before that happens, but wow, that went a lot quicker than I thought it was going to. And, um, in case anybody is wondering, I know that there's a lot of, like, extra side quest stuff that I didn't really get around to, and there's also the DLC for this game. Um, I'm not planning on making that a main part of the Let's Play, but as always, I like to keep these things open-ended, so if I want to come back and do that stuff later, I might do some extra videos in the future. But I think I'm pretty much ready to move on into the end of the game here, so... Uh, if you have any particular requests, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I think we're pretty much set here to wrap up the game. Alright, let's go up to the penthouse, 
And I hope we got all the gear we need. Actually, off screen in between episodes, I also went and got a bunch of ammo too. Um, I think I'm just going to use my alien blaster for the most part, Don't but it doesn't hurt to have extra gear and equipment. Lit up. Sign of things to come. Yep. Too bad about President Kimball and <laughs> But hey, stuff happens, right? Yeah. Exciting news. The Legion's massing troops in a staging area east of the dam. Attack imminent. Monster of the East ready to roll. Okay, well, we better gear up. I have a few things I want to take care of before the battle at Hoover Dam, though. Sure. No problem. So long as the Legion doesn't attack before you can get there, which I'm sure they won't. <laughs> Was that snide? I don't know. I never know when he's being sincere. I feel like he never is. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode a little bit early here today. So thank you again for joining me in the next one. We'll be taking on the finale, the very last mission of the game, where we wage war against the NCR and Kaiser's Legion for control of Hoover Dam and an independent New Vegas. So that's going to be exciting stuff. Once again, my name is Jesus Quesadilla. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to me if you've not already done so. And that way you can stay up to date on all future uploads to my channel. And otherwise, guys, it's been a whole lot of fun. And until the next one, this is Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well. Peace!